Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Today we're going to be installing uh, SSH server and Java into our virtual machine. And to do that, we have uh, a first step, which is we need to do an app uh, get update. And this just updates all the packages on our server, uh, a list of packages that is, and um, tells and when we run an app get uh, install, uh, it, it'll show that we, we've got the packages available to us. Okay, we're all done here. Now, uh, the first thing to installing our um, SSH server is uh, to do an app update. Okay, and I'm going to get some code here. All right, just so everybody sees it, we're going to take this one right here okay I'm gonna make some adjustments to it because what I have there is uh, meant to be inside a shell script but I'm gonna show you here what I am going to do so as you see here we have a few things this assume yes uh, we're gonna take that out because uh, what I want to do is show you what questions are being asked there's a few things that um, we uh, kind of want to see. Okay, <clears throat> so we have uh, app get install open SSH dash server. All right, press that, and that's going to install. It's a fairly fast install. And now that it's finished, we should be able to connect fairly easily through uh, WinSCP. And I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for that right now. <clears throat> we'll configure a, a new session in WinSCP. Okay, so we'll go to new site, and this is gonna be just an SCP file protocol. All right, and from here we can get our connection information. We can get our uh, current IP address. Actually, I won't be able to copy that over. I'll just remember it. So 192.168.174.154. 192.168.174.154. Okay, our username by default is Ubuntu. Okay. And our password is the same. I'm going to save that password just to, uh, to keep it simple for me. And I'm going to rename this so that it's uh, just something that I'll remember here. And I'm going to call it local VM name node. Excellent. Okay, now if everything has gone well, I can log in. say yes to this okay and for some reason I lost my password but that's fine we'll do that oh haha you know what happened I spelled my username not wrong Ubuntu there we are okay here we have it. Now I'll just bring this down into my video window here so everybody can see. All right. So what we uh, what we're looking at here is my Ubuntu uh, home folder, and we're we are SSHing into or uh, uh, doing a WinSCP session into uh, our virtual machines. So we have full connectivity between both machines. Okay. If I run a putty session now, I can click here. <clears throat> You'll see that will come up. And same thing, I'm going to answer yes to this question. Okay. Okay, we put in our password, and everything's looking pretty good. So that's great. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is install our Java and to do that we have to um, install the default Java SDK and to do this we are going to 
do our app get install and it is called default dash JDK okay yeah, I think we're pretty good to go I'm gonna say yes to that but I do want it to be installed and I'm gonna pause for a moment and uh, wait for it to install and I'll come right back Okay, we're all installed here. It takes a little bit of time, so I just paused it out there for a moment while we did that. Now, what we want to do is understand where it actually installed to. So we're going to do an app uh, or a uh, update alternatives. Okay, and uh, we're going to look at the config for Java. Okay. And it says, you know, basically there's only one, uh, there's nothing to configure really, but uh, what it tells me here is that this is where that Java installed. Now we're going to have to remember that information for later. So uh, what I would suggest you do is copy and paste this information to somewhere else so that we can, uh, so we can use it. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we have a couple environment variables that we're going to install into the bash rc folder or file. And the bash rc file is, uh, you know, it's one of those files that gets loaded when, uh, when you log in uh, to your, your home folder. However, what we're going to use is the, uh, the file that uh, affects all of the users. <clears throat> that way everyone will have uh, a couple of variables that we're going to set up. So we're going to set up the Java underscore home uh, environment variable. And the, uh, we're going to add the path to the Java folder. And this here is our Java path. This is the one that we just, uh, we just looked up. Okay, so we have a couple of commands that we're going to run, <coughs> and I'll explain to you what uh, these will do. First, the bash rc uh, is um, uh, owned by root. Okay, so what we have to do first of all is set the permissions to 777 <coughs> so that we can we can actually get into it. We could change ownership, but it gets a little bit a uh, little bit challenging and tricky if uh, something goes wrong okay so if we just set the permissions then we have access to it and we can do some things uh, with it uh, you'll notice here that i do this echo ubuntu uh, and then a bar what that's going to do for me is it's just going to answer my password so i don't have to type my password in every time and you'll need this uh, dash uh, capital s as well so let's uh, go ahead and do that okay now the next thing, we are also going to uh, add a couple of lines. Okay, so once again, we're gonna use a funky little command here. We're gonna use an echo, and this echo command is going to uh, take this text and slide it into the bash.bashrc file. Okay, it's gonna be at the very end of the file, all right? So we'll push that in, and then what, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what uh, what it actually looks like when we're done. Okay, push that in, and then we reset our permissions. Don't want problems to happen. Okay. Excellent. All right. So let's um, let's display what that file actually looks like now. Okay. So there is a lot of information up here, but that's all all the stuff that was there already. So we're going to look down here, and we have these uh, entries now. Uh, you may want to put some delimiters there, like something top and bottom of this, so that you know that you put this in, uh, something like Java variables, uh, and then for the start, and then Java variables at the end of the statement. Um, I would definitely recommend that. We're just doing this for a demonstration, but uh, you, you definitely want to do that so that you know when uh, something was installed or, or or how it was installed or was it an automated process was it part of what was already done there before but uh, for our purposes we don't need to worry too much about that 
Okay, that's our uh, our lesson for today. Uh, I have installed SSH and uh, Java, and the next session we're going to get uh, with our Hadoop installation and that includes our uh, passwordless uh, SSH. So stick around. We'll uh, catch you in the next one. Please remember to like and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.